if you've been following that, then you will not want to miss it. Logan Roy definitely, definitely loved to move around in his earlier days. Anyway, Fraser Clark is down ringside with Andy Scott. The reaction that you can see there, it's not a happy face. Fraser Clark can see the cut on his forehead on the screen there. That is probably the only downside, because the upside is you've broken Bogdan Dinu's ribs. Not for him, obviously. Uh, commiserations to him, but a good night for you. Yeah, good night to me. And, uh, you know, I want to say um, thanks to Bogdan for saving the show. Him and his, uh, his wife and his son was over here, so sorry about his ribs, and I hope you enjoy Manchester. Uh, a good night for me, yeah, you know, and uh, I want to thank everyone that's came out. This wouldn't be possible without the help from Loughborough University and my sponsor, Glenn at Phoenix CNC. So thanks to them and uh, big up to my boy Tyson, the real fighter. Yeah, it's a good night. You probably don't get a lot of credit for your body work. And we see highlight reel knockouts to the head in heavyweight boxing, not always good highlight reel finishes to the body. He couldn't go on. Did you know that you would hurt him to the body there? Yeah, I've never hurt him a couple of times, yeah. And then just a little bit gutted that after I had landed the body shots, I got a little bit too close and didn't give myself room to come on the other side. And I think I was throwing them from a little bit too far out sometimes. But I seen the gap and, uh, yeah, I took it. Possibly too early to say, but it's not pretty, the cut. Uh, you hoped to be out. Relatively local show for you, May 6th. So will it just be a case of listening to the doctors? You're going to be desperate to get back. But, I mean, you can see it there. It's not great, Harry Potter. I mean... I had, a big, I had a big job for uh, Gucci, Versace and Calvin Klein next week, <laughs> modelling, but yeah, that won't be happening. And um, hopefully I hear up like Wolverine, you know, I was looking forward to taking an army of Burtonians and Swaddies over to Birmingham. We would have had a good night and made some real noise. But, you know, um, we'll see what happens. You know, if it can be healed up, then I'd love to go on with Blatsy and Ben, uh, Lauren, you know, they're my teammates. That's going to be a fantastic show, everyone. Get to the Resorts World at Birmingham. Fantastic place and uh, it's going to be a cracker. Quickly, very Ben Shalom, uh, it's disappointing. The upside is a good stoppage victory, the downside is the cut. Look, he's in the best physical shape I've seen him in. I think uh, he's really enjoying himself coming from strength to strength and he'll be active this year. British title, end of the year and hopefully May 6th on a big show in Birmingham with his GB mate Ben Whitaker as well. It's going to be a big show. The people can't save you. You know who that is? You mean Fabio Wardley? I'll just say that people can't save you. Well done tonight. I think we know who you're talking about, Fraser. Congratulations. Fraser extends his perfect professional record here at a place that has become a familiar hunting ground for him here at the Manchester Arena. He is now 6-0, so congratulations to him. Alongside me, Joseph Parker is here. Good to see you, Joseph. Good to see you. Um, obviously, you'll be having a keen eye on the main event, your new gym mate, but let's just talk about Fraser then. You fought him in the amateurs. You actually you beat him. How did you assess his performance there? Listen, Fraser's doing what he needs to do, and uh, getting, getting these uh, opponents out of there in a good fashion and he made the guy quit so he's uh you know, he's he's doing what he needs to do and he's looking while doing it as a fighter for fraser i guess that might be quite a frustrating way to finish the fight that's not how he would have hoped i think a win is a win and even though it's not the best way of winning as long as you get the win you can move on to the next next task johnny who would you like to see fraser move on to i know you are so keen for fraser to be calling these people out you want him to be calling out the likes of fabio wardley Jamie T. Gabe, people like that. And that's where he needs to be. And you've got to remember, people like Josie Park and all these big names, the names that are up there, Fraser's spot them in the amateurs, he's fought with them, he knows what he's capable of doing. So he's as frustrated uh, as, uh, uh, for himself as we are. So now for Fraser, calling out Wardy, I love that. That's what he needs to do, get in that face. Get, it starts to intimidate him, start to bully him, make it too hard for them to ignore him. So he puts himself in a position that, yes, by the end of the year, he's at least boxing for a British title. I think he was kind of doing that at the end there, wasn't he? Kind of alluding to Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just need to hear it a bit more.